Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays and Cryptic here and Mog and Boko are in the background there. Mog looks a little hungover and Wedge, well, Wedge is sleeping on the bed in his kingly position. He is kind of the, I do believe he's still the king of the stream from my last stream. I've been recording so many videos lately, it's so weird to just constantly have the exact same uh, overlay. I guess we could change the overlay. But I'm not going to. Anyway, uh, welcome to this video. Um, people have correctly noted that, uh, hey, Umbra, you've been quite negative lately. You've been a negative Nancy about uh, the one year anniversary and the game in general and the fact that the player population is declining. Quite true, fellow viewer. Um, I would like to thank you very much for watching and watching my content, potentially for, you know, however long that you have been. But you're right, I have been uh, lately kind of been pushing a little bit for the community to really start asking um, uh, basically for War of the Visions to become a better game for year number two. You know, from year one to year two, I, I would like to see the game become better. I'd like to see it become more fun. I'd like to see it become less frustrating. And I'd like it to be le a little less demanding because you know what? Hey, we like the game. We want to come back to it. And contrary to a lot of people's beliefs, there's quite a few things I actually do like in the game. So I want to talk about those things starting today and for a non-disclosed number of videos. I want to talk about just the stuff that I really, really like. And uh, I'm going to just start with one of the things that I absolutely love. And if you can tell this from this picture, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. No, not welfare units. Good try. But actually, the thing that I really love the most, uh, one of the things I just love the most in this game are the side stories. The side stories are quite a little bit of fun. They're usually an introduction of characters that are not in the main story. As a matter of fact, this year, when it comes to these events, they have introduced some of the characters that I like the most. Don't get me wrong, I actually, you know, really like Sakura, for example, who is just a Brave Exodus character. Because, I mean, look at her animation. She's just so fun. Uh, let's see if we can't get her to do the jumping wave. There she is. I mean, that's just cheerful wholesomeness. Uh, love that kind of stuff. But getting back to it, uh, some of the side story characters have been some of my more favorite uh, recently. Like recently on the JP side, there's Larudo, who didn't show up in my gotcha. But um, you know what? He'll eventually show up. He is a permanent addition. But uh, talking about some of the characters I really like, um, Howlet is a character that I just really like. I'm super glad we ended up getting this character in the game because uh, when he first came out, I was like, oh, cool, you know, new job, uh, mage, all right, really powerful, interesting, lots of HP, good speed, yeah, 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 like all of that stuff. But what I, I, I generally ended up liking more was just getting to... I kind of know him in the side story, getting to see his little adventures with his troop. Because that was the other thing. It's not just like the UR characters that are interesting. I do like a lot of the side characters as well. Shell, for example, is just absolutely adorable little uh, green mage support character. Um, really like her. And uh, last but not least, uh, Titus as well, who's a really interesting character design. Like the three of these characters just have this really neat uh, color palette together. They look like uh, this team and they work as a team. And I really ended up liking that. Uh, again, um, the Venera story with Dario, there's usually some stakes to a lot of these stories. There's more, pro uh, it, since they're nice little contained units of stories, if something is going to happen, we're going to get it all at once as opposed to the regular story, which is usually, you know, a major event every five chapters and nothing really big happens until the end of a segment. So, yeah, I mean, like the side stories are just really nice self-contained stories. And again, some of the characters have just been so popular and so powerful. Like Venera here is one of those characters who came in initially through a side story and she has been fantastic. She's been a really good member of my team. Uh, she's just been absolutely awesome. But yeah, all the little side characters as well. Dario, you know, he was in the main story, but getting to see more of these character stories uh, in such a self-contained manner 
that is just efficient, it's fun, it's a burst of content all at once, and it usually ends with, you know, farming potentially a new piece of equipment as well. So that's all just a lot of value in a single event. Um, I really can't even think of much else to talk about because it's just, it's so positive, it's so good, and I really love seeing every time we get a new side story. Not to mention that some of my personal favorite characters, such as Lorila, has come from a side story as well. Okay, technically, she came with the Glassy and Laswell banner. You globalers just got this. But that doesn't matter because she is just, like, in terms of design and everything, one of my favorite units. I just love this character's design. Uh, she is always, I think, just going to be one of my favorites. And, yeah, I mean, it's surprising. Um, when I started the game, I kind of ended up enjoying a little bit more of the main story, but the main story ends up being, well, a little frustrating as we've been going on because of some characters' actions who shall remain fire element um, or potentially a light element. But, uh, yeah, like, while the main story seems to be this, uh, you know little bit soap opera drama that's kind of going on a little bit. The side stories just kind of feel fun, refreshing, that take us out from and away from that kind of main conflict that's going on and see what else is going on in this world to develop some characters, give us some fun memories, and uh, give us potentially just some really interesting stages. That is something else that I forgot to mention. Um, there are in a couple of my other videos, I've complained about the fact that, and this is just a point to make note of, is the fact that a lot of the time, it seems like in the main story, we're not really seeing too much in terms of development of new maps and everything. Like, a lot of the time, it's the same maps we've seen multiple times now. Uh, more so on the JP side, I guess, than the global side, as you guys are some months behind. But... It seems like there's constantly these new maps that are evolving in a couple of areas in the game. You know, Arena is always getting these kind of new maps for the JPC side. In the summer, we got beach maps, and now we're getting Halloween grave cemeteries for Arena, which is kind of spooky fun, and I love spooky fun. Yes, I know, you too, bud. But I also just really like the fact that side stories introduce a fair number of new maps too, with uh, new themes and whatnot. Uh, when I think of the more recent one for uh, Niv over here, uh, her maps, you know, are more of the Asian bamboo aesthetic, and which is really cool. You know, not just because I live in Japan. Oh, he lives in Japan. Weeb. <laughs> but I just really enjoy um, a change of settings, some new maps, uh, some new places to try out, some new challenges. In the more recent Larudo one, there's quite a few of the mine area ones with some really high elevation that archers can take advantage of. And that's cool. Those are some of the things that I've been really wanting. We see those in collaborations like Final Fantasy Tactics had its own maps and Final Fantasy IV has its own maps and God willing, another collaboration is right around the corner with its own maps. But Honestly, the side stories are just a more regular thing than the collaborations, and I just quite like them. If I am to say one thing, and this is generally positive, this is not a negative that I'm about to mention, I would really love to see the side stories become permanent additions, because while it seems like every once in a while they are coming back on the JP side, I feel like when new players start the game, they really should kind of get these experiences. They should get to play these. And I'm not talking about the weapon farm maps. Those can still be, you know, whenever time you want. But it would be really cool to have the opportunity to play through these again. So, I mean, if we're going to be talking about making one of the best things, in my opinion, just a, a more positive thing than it already is, um, I would love to see side stories just have their own little tab be able to repeat them be able to watch the story events and everything just like you played it for the first time um 
because yeah, I just really, really think that they are uh, pretty fun stuff. So yeah, uh, tell me uh, you guys, what do you think of this? Are you as much of a fan of the side story events as I am? Or do you not like them? Do you think that all the story is just right? Of course you are allowed to your opinion, but please explain and you know, of course, as well, I'll try to uh, give a little bit more. And my camera seems to be freezing lately. I'm not sure if that's a Windows thing or not. I don't know if it's actually frozen for anybody else or if it's actually just double-shot on me. 